Hello everybody, Papa Blue Shirt here. I am gonna do my 4,000 mile review today. Stay tuned for this episode. 4,000 miles. Look at here, 3982. I'm gonna be going over 4,000 today. This is what the bike looks like before we get started here. You can see my front tire still looks really good yet. And if you recall, I had to change the back tire because of a problem with the with the tire but uh yeah four thousand miles and what's the biggest thing that has happened to this bike since i've had it right there my reflectors fell off my bike's falling apart <laughs> these didn't fall off for some reason i think they just uh, clip in there I still got them. I should probably try to put them back in there, but ain't no big deal. Um, I do see that I use the brakes a little bit more, but that's because I'm, drive, I'm driving a lot faster. So my brakes are wiring. I, I haven't adjusted the brakes as of yet, but uh, they're getting kind of low. Biggest upgrade I did for the performance-wise is I put a new free wheel on there. I should probably oil that today, but this is what I've been using to oil my chain. As you can see, my rear wheel is staying a lot cleaner than it did on my Ecotrick. This is a wax-based, so uh, yeah, and you just spray it on there and rotate it back. And we'll let that dry for a little bit and we'll be ready to roll. My Ecotrick, I used regular oil, just got really dirty and really filthy and I didn't like doing that. And this has kept my rear wheel a lot cleaner, a lot, a lot cleaner. And if it does get dirt on it, I, just, I can just take a dry rag and just wipe it off. So that worked really good. A lot of things I like about the little bike. It's got a nice bright headlight. Got a nice bright tail light. Let me turn it on for you here. And look at that. Look how bright it is. And it also has a brake light. And then I use, I use this little add-on one here. Give me a little extra so people can see me um upgrades i put a new seat the seat as you see it really matches really really good and on my eco trick i went through four or five seats before i decided on this one and this one seems to be the best so i have about uh i don't know eight or nine thousand miles well no probably more than that i probably have twelve thousand miles on this style of seat and it really works really nice but the biggest upgrade for comfort i did was this this suspension seat post and uh man <laughs> seat post changed everything let me tell you it is so much it is so more comfortable very reasonable upgrade and it's worth every penny of it i i bought it so i can put it on my eco trick when i ride my eco trick because i don't want to ride without it because it's just it's made such a world of difference if you were going to do one upgrade for comfort that's the one i would do i don't care about the seat you know a seat is kind of a personal you know, preference some people like the bigger seats some like the smaller seats some like the narrow some like the fat some like the cushy some like you know i like a small seat because uh, otherwise i sweat so much and because i ride hunched over this type of seat for this type of bike seems to work very well but the seat post is the most important thing and if you get uh, the seat posts, you'll have to buy a sleeve that goes along with it so it fits. Uh, for some reason, the Filoto has kind of an oddball size and it's hard to find things, so you have to buy a, a sleeve for it. I think it's 30.4 millimeters, if I remember right. But um, I bought the seat post at 27. 27.2 or something like that. And uh, then I bought the sleeve that goes on it. So then I can take this off and put this on my Ecotrick. So on a day I want to do a fast ride on the Ecotrick, I just pop my seat up, post off here and put it on my, on my Ecotrick. And I can just go. And I have the same, the same uh, comfort in the back. Uh, the battery, I haven't noticed. Uh, I might be getting to notice just a little bit of loss. But uh, I'm charging twice a day because I go and ride in the morning and in the evening. So um, I don't expect the battery to, to last as long. I am fixing to 
upgrade and get an extra battery. I'm gonna put it on the back here and so I can double my range, but uh, I can still ride on four and five. I can still ride about 38 miles before I run low. So I still have a lot of range yet. And of course, if I went on the lower ones, I could go a lot further. So uh, that's that. Uh, yeah, it's got the disc brakes. That's a big deal. I didn't think it'd be that big a deal, but it is. They, they stop a lot better than the other one. Something you may not know, it took me a while. I've had this for a while before I realized that this screen is adjustable, which is really nice when you're riding along. You can see the sun shines and reflects back on you. You can just push it down out of the way. Also, uh, it's nice so if you ever have to tip your bike upside down, you don't have to worry about this getting messed up. Just put a towel down and this stuff is strong enough to hold it. And so that works really well. Uh, one thing a lot of people don't know is the all-wheel drive only works when you use the throttle. So when you're riding on PAS, you know, whatever, it's not going to be using all-wheel drive so it won't be running down your battery. But when you need it, you can just use the, th use the uh, throttle. And so then it also works on the walk function and on the cruise control. If you do want to use it on the road, you can. Uh, you just have to get up to speed and then hit the hit the cruise control. And how you do that, you just hold the, this button down. And it, usually that engages the, the walk function. It'll begin to walk. But if you're on the road, if you hold it long enough, it'll turn to cruise. And it'll say, it'll say that up here, cruise. So, yeah. And then, of course, I put this. This is my, my uh, pack wrap. I'll leave a link for that in the video. I took my old broken pack rack. I had a pack rack that would hook on the seat here. And one time when I was out, it broke. And so I just hung on to it because my bag fed it. And uh, I was able to mount this on here so I can take that. So when I get my new battery, I'm gonna make something that fits in here. And uh, maybe something that will turn this way or something on the back that I can tighten up or something. Figure out something, figure out some way to mount it there. But yeah, and I got my little bag in here that fits right down that little hole. Fits in there, fits in there nice. Um, I can't think of anything else. If I think of anything else on the road, I'll, I'll let you know here. But yeah, I'm still wearing my hoodie. It's gonna be 100 degrees here today. <laughs> it's not bad at all in the morning, but in the evening it's getting a little warm. But uh, you know, I've been able to handle it so far. If you know of any way to uh, keep the sun off you, that's nice and cool, you can let me know. Um, I tried to put a visor on here, a bigger visor, so I could, oh, no wonder that don't block all the sun. Look at that big hole there. <laughs> I ride like this, and I tip way down, and I try to keep the sun off my face, but yeah, maybe I could do something here, block that up. Anyway, <laughs> I get sidetracked. Oh, also my gloves here. I got these gel gloves here. These are really nice. Uh, I can handle my phone and it's got the gel on it. So it kind of helps to hold on so I don't uh, lose the grip of my phone. So, and uh, they're really cheap and it's almost a perfect match. I kind of wore it a little bit now, but, and it, the gel in there makes it nice on the handlebars. So when it goes up and down. Alrighty, let's get going. It's funny. Uh, since it's been so hot here, it's been in, in the hundreds, you know, or almost a hundred. And uh, it's 76 this morning and it feels kind of cool. It's weird how your body gets used to a certain temperature. But I'm sure I'll warm up into it. <laughs> I don't want to be like my wife and my wife wears a snowsuit sometimes when it's 80 degrees. <laughs> Yeah, because she's so cold-blooded. She said, I freeze if I don't wear it. And so I just I just laugh at her. <laughs> I saw this on the road the other day. And I got so excited. That means they're going to put new blacktop on here. As you can see here, this road is really bad. And uh, like this area here, you always get over in this lane to get out of all these big holes. And then a car comes around the corner there. And now I have to slam back into those holes again. Like here, look at that. So, that is going to be. 
gonna be nice. And I'm gonna do this whole thing here. Kind of like a tree tunnel here, nice and cool in the summertime. Yeah, they still got this bridge blocked off. This bridge been blocked off for months. They keep piling everything. They'll move everything in front of the bridge here. And then uh, the locals here will move it all away and turn the side around. They said, you ain't gonna stop us from going through here. Fix the stupid bridge. I don't know what's wrong with it. Looks like they need to add some ballast or something underneath it or... But, uh, yeah, it's been like that for months. Most of this concrete poured here. Got a big crack down there in that brand new concrete. Got a relief crack about four feet away from it. And yet there's a big old crack there. Speed test! See how it is? Yeah. Check it out. I'll leave a link down below. They even have one with the front suspension for like $80 more or something like that. So you can't beat that. I'll leave a link down below. Those cows' attention. Oh, this beautiful area through here, right? This is a loop, and it just goes around. It's like uh, three and a half miles or something, and uh, hardly ever meet anybody on it. Really nice for this. But I'm getting close, I'm getting close to my 4,000 miles. I'm getting close to my 4,000 miles. Oh yeah, we'll start working on the 5,000. Well, I wonder if I'll turn over on this hill here. Turn the mileage over, let me clarify this. <laughs> I don't want to turn over. So, see how the sun is hitting that? I can just move that up out of the way. That's a really nice design. Less than four months. 
So I've averaged over a thousand miles a month. Not too shabby for an old man. <laughs> I don't say so myself. Ah. Anyways. Got him this time. <laughs> well, I got him that time. Flying down that hill, and I seen him up in the up on the bank, getting ready to cross the road. So I come down, turned around, got my camera ready. <laughs> and when I turned around, there was a big, big old barn owl took off flying. I <laughs> didn't have the camera recording. I should have brought my GoPro today, I guess. I'm sure, missing a lot, but. There'll be other times. I saw a bobcat here yesterday. That that was really cool. Yeah, I think Blaine said he saw a bobcat in, in one of his videos over at Southern E-Biking. They're always really neat to see. Oh, I'm so glad they fixed this road. This is just a beautiful ride now. Yeah. This had to be one of the worst roads in America, public roads. Had a storm and got a lot of leaves on it, but at least it's got a nice blacktop now. the big farm equipment on this road, huh? Yeah, luckily not a whole lot of them coming this way because of the bridge at the bottom is only eight tons. Well, that's that, 31.8 miles. Had 43 volts left, hour and 40 minutes. Kind of took my time today because I was recording. And 4,014. 4,014 miles, that's cool. Alrighty, well, thanks for riding with me today. And uh, I'll leave a link for all that stuff down below in case you're interested. And once again, goodbye, good luck. And may the good Lord take a liking to you. No, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go out this afternoon because Mama said something about being too warm or something. Just because it's going to be 100 with an index of 110. She thinks that's too hot to ride a bike. You know? Oh, well. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Maybe it'll be cloudy and I'll be able to sneak off it anyway. <laughs> and today's my birthday. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing like a bike ride on your birthday. Goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. May the good Lord take a liking to you. Hallelujah. May he spread his blessings on your trail. Hallelujah. May he be your guide anywhere you ride. And be always your host when you're needing him most. May the good Lord take a liking.